Ruth here, and I'm finally opening this almost a year later. I guess, well, my, I guess my easy resolution was to actually use it before July. And it is the first of June, so why not? Yeah. And my uh, reason, I guess, would be because I'm taking part in Justine Hovey's fearless card make in five minutes thing workshop type of thing. I'm not really sure what to call it. It's not a summit. It's just, yeah. Anyway, I thought it would be a good opportunity to use it. Well, I'll have to open it initially. Anyway. So, okay. So it's got some inspiration on the side. Glimmer-info has all the information, tips, and techniques on how to use your Glimmer hot foil machine. Is what it is. But yeah, I never actually showed you the sides, did I? So let me just show you the sides for a second. Easy to read power and heat light indicators with automatic shut off feature. Cord keeper conveniently located under a base for easy storage. Two shims with different thicknesses for foiling various materials. It must be used with the manual die cutting machine, such as Spellbinders Platinum, Platinum 6, Big Shot, and other select manual die cutting systems. Go to the website I already read for compatible machines. Oh, it's just got little foil, foil rolls on the side. This is simply stunning additional plates, dies, and accessories sold separately. It's kind of obvious. And this is the back. <clears throat> so, features over 100 glimmer plates and over 30 foil colors available. Foil on various surfaces such as glimmer specialty cardstock, clear film sheets, leather, glitter paper, watercolor paper, yeah, paper, fabric, cardstock, wood veneer, ribbon, and chipboard. Works with platinum and platinum six die cutting machines. What's in the box? The machine, obviously. Two glimmer plates. One thin shim, which is 8.25 inches by 6.125 inches. Acrylic spacer pad, which is, well, it's the same as previous. Silicone cooling pad, which is 8.625 by 6.25 inches, two starter foil rolls in gold and rainbow, magnetic pickup tool, and instructions, which is always handy to have. Uh, the dimensions for the base is 7.875 inches by 10.5 by 1.5 inches. And the hot platform, so you know, the base is this bit. Hot platform is this bit. Uh, 6.25 by 10.75 by 0 0.625 inches. Must read all safety precautions and instructions before use. And this obviously is the UK slash EU version. Okay. From learn more, you know. You go there. Actually, open it. Or continue opening it. Ta -da. Okay. Mm. 
magnetic tool is this one. Let's move the box out of the way. Okay, this is the hot pad. Caution, hot surface avoid contact, not intended for die cutting. Got a caution hot thing. It's got 1 to 13 and 1 to 5. And 15 centimeters okay, cent centimeters here and inches here by the looks of it because obviously it's spaced out differently that looks right in the back so that's that you got Rainbow and gold, as I said before. We have the EU cord, which obviously I won't be using because we're in the UK. So, UK cord. So yep, it's got a protector uh, for prongs on there. That's good. Does the uh, instructions need to be in a plastic thing itself? Don't know. But you know, last time I tried to register, it doesn't work on the UK side. So I tried to register the my platinum, but it didn't work. I guess I can always try again. It might work now. Anyway, the operating instructions. That's pretty. Um, I already read out what it included. Oh, the power cord is six feet long. Okay, however long that is. Uh, I'm not very good at my lights. <laughs> okay. There it is. Alright, well, I'm just... I got to the point where I have too much- I saved too much plastic, so I should probably throw these away. <laughs> um... Oh, yes, that's where it is. That's where you keep the cord. That's handy. It's not a place to put the cord. Um... Non-slip feet as well, which is good. Yeah. Non-slip. Um, you know what, I should just get it out. So obviously, you know, this is where you put the cord. Non-slip feet here. Not moving, but not budging at all, which is good. Whatever that mark is. Um, okay. What is it? I just, you know, saw mark right there. Which is, uh, I just won't look at it. Sort of. Um, okay, so it says base connectors here. 
power switch is back here. Yep. Let's really plug it in. Indicator. Okay, power light indicator is this one. Platform ready indicator light is this one. Time indicator light is this one. And obviously the bright power button is this one. Um, okay. I'm so missing my... <laughs> okay, so we've got the silicone cooling pad. Is this? Very sexy. Um, I don't know where to put it. Well, let me just do it like that for now. Uh, then, let's see, you got an acrylic spacer pad. Which... This is a thin shim, I mean. And this is the acrylic space pad. Ooh, it actually says it on there, actually. See? And it says the uh, tension on that one. And then, oh yes, yeah, so I never actually got it out. Oops, I'm oh, hitting things. Okay, so this is the magnetic pickup tool. not too too strong a magnet. But I'll, uh, I'll show you in a second. Um, then two glimmer plates. There you go. Let's see. It's uh, just a note to you. Hello and some flowers. So basically, go like that, you know, then you press the button, to this. Um, okay, so, I'll just put that right there for a second. Nope, I'll just put it here. And then we'll, so now we're going to draw thingies. Um, let me plug this in. Because, like, you need to get it heated up while I read. Because it'll take a little bit. Alright. Plug in and push power to switch on. Power light will light up red when heated. The optimal temperature. The platform... Ready light indicator will light up green. Place the glimmer plate on the platform. Press timer. The timer and light indicator will initially blink green. Uh, you are ready to foil when the timer light indicator turns solid green. Uh, Place glimmer foil shiny side facing down on the hot foil, on the hot glimmer plate. Add desired material and necessary shims. See material chart. Um, which is down here. Um. Remove platform from base. Slowly roll it through the platform machine. Force selection. Manual die cutting machine. 
Carefully remove the shims. Place the platform back in base. Peel foil from the material to reveal the design. Um, and there's some instructions how to use it with etched or wafer thin dyes. It's basically the same, I think. You've got a how to letter press with the glimmer hot file system. Oh, you ink glimmer plate. You place the glimmer plate on the platform, ink side up, facing up. Um, unnecessary materials, unnecessary shims, see material chart. Slowly roll platform through the map, the platinum, or select the machine. Remove shims, carefully remove material, reveal letter press design. That's cool. Um, tips and FAQs. Trim corners of glimmer foil to prevent overfoiling. For best results, smooth cardstock is recommended. Slowly roll platform through die cutting machine to ensure even hot foil transfer. When platform is ready to foil, undock the platform first before placing foil. Um, Foil material and shims on hot glimmer. Oh, yes, so like when you disconnect it. Yes, yeah, so when you disconnect it, now I am. I'm putting it in right here. Click, shut it off. So, like when you disconnect, it'll juggle, not juggle, but uh, jostle, that's the word, I think. The, uh, what you have on there, so it could shift your paper. So, recommended say, to, you know, because of a jerk motion. So, recommended. Okay, so I get that. I should really have been so obviously it's red, so it's not ready yet. Um well that's a nice Example there. A clean white eraser may be used to remove excess overfoil. Always use a magnetic pickup tool to remove hot glimmer plate from platform onto silicone cleaners. It's so recommended to connect the platform back into the base after each foil. Okay, those are the ones I left off reading. Oh, it actually says, when the platform is reached for, undock the platform first before placing foil material and shims on hot glimmer plates, then run through the die cutting machine. This material and shim. Oh, no, I can't read. This will reduce movement of foil or material. Yeah. So, basically, I'm using cardstock, so I need the both shim and pad. Some people use the uh, cutting plate, but I guess it depends on the pressure of each machine. Okay, so while that's heating up, I will uh, cut my the foil. So I did get this. I'm pretty sure I put it in the link below. It's obviously available on both um, the Spellbinder website and on Amazon. I got it on Amazon. It was cheaper at, the, at this time. 
It came with a foil and paper. I bought the replacement as well, just in case. Now I'm just going to cut the end bit off because that's kind of got the tape on it. Which is unfortunate. Well, actually, I'm going to do it this way. If I do it this way, I won't get. There, yes, I cut it properly. This is back in the little slot. Put this back in here. Hmm, straightish. Press the time. Then show then space for pad. So it goes like this. On top. And this one. I got a uh, pearlescent kind of lavender. Okay. So it is green. So I can take it off. Let me get everything out of the way first. I recommend to take it off. Put this shiny side down. I think that is the right place. It's probably not actually, but I can't see anything. So, let's move this out of the way. Let's move this back a tiny bit. Oh, I got some of it. Not quite all. That's pretty. I need to re... Uh, what's it called? Re... Uh, um, situated properly. So I could get like an eraser and rub the excess bits off, but I quite like it. Maybe I can always, you know, cut around, but Looks pretty, yeah. Okay, um... Try again. Okay, so that's attempt one. And I attempt two a little bit better, since I did stick it, you know. So I can use it on... Because I do have solid plates, so I can use that on a different card. So I was thinking, since uh, that's not quite, you know, thing. So I want to do this a couple times, I guess, and I can cut them out. I'll just do it on here, because I'm... I'm I think I'm planning to cut them out and stick it onto a different card piece anyway. So yeah. So we'll do that.
And now, so it looks like it has done the impression. Lovely. That's maybe a nice tiny bit down there. That's the only thing, I think, in this one. There's a thing underneath the H. The hell are you? I'm a little bit above the U as well. That's very nice. And I should do a step on that. Press button for this. I'm gonna play with that if I keep it in my head. So, I do have this. It's an extendable, retractable magnetic pickup tool as well. Ooh, actually, yes. This is much stronger than the other. Let me show you. Let's see what comes with it. This. This. It's some loose. However, this, we got this from the WJ's Crafting Corner D stash, D stash bundle. The video will be up before this one, so you can have a look if you want. But see? It is super strong. Obviously, I'm gonna cut them out because. It just doesn't look quite right. <laughs> That's all pretty. Okay, I decided to finish very quickly. Of the uh, purple one, uh, the other purple one, you know, like that. Cut it out. I think I'm going to stick it on like this, like that, and I'll just chop the bottom off and just make it a small card instead of a big one. Well, not big one, but normal. So I'll just uh, put some of this on. You know what? I'm going to put some liquid glue on it. Just in case. Then I need to cut a border, you know, chop this end bit off. Just make it look like a card that's supposed to be. Let's do this first. I know that's too big, but I just want to make sure. 
Well, I can use these to cut back at silence or something because it's a nice green pastel pearlized cardstock. Let's try here. <laughs> That's fine. And there we have it. Very small card. What is it anyway? Well, let's put that back. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, would you look at that? It's four by four. Ish. One, two, three, four. Not a bit. And one, two, three, four. Well, definitely four, four on this side, and four and a tiny bit on this side. Nice. There we have it. There's this magic card. This is just a simple kind of thing. Not very, you know, extra. It's just simple. Very nice. I think it's, you know, there's nothing else to do or say. No. I'll really leave it off there. Yes. Shiny, shiny. Thanks for watching, over and out.